We have a need at NASA for miniaturized particle counting instruments or aerosol instruments. And uh, we're looking to get that technology development stimulated to the point where we will have something that we can use in space flight. We have a partner in this challenge, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. Their mission is to improve the health of communities. And so they want a, a, a particle instrument that has a lot of the same qualities that a spacecraft particle instrument would have. We are focusing on building a much more robust culture of health in America. Um, and that means working with all kinds of different people and partners. We saw NASA as one of those opportunities. Um, and it actually turned out to be a pretty interesting fit with their own interests in looking for innovations that worked on space and on the Earth. For the ISS, it's like a, a can of air that's been there for 17 years. No fresh air. We need to have that small, robust, maintenance-free instrument to measure particles on the space station. And so we have that synergy between the Earth application and the space application, and that's combined in the Earth and Space Air Prize. We had 20 proposals come in, and a panel of judges, including NASA and foundation members, um, down selected that to three. Those three finalists were each given $50,000 to build a prototype based on their proposal, based on their technology. Those three prototypes will be in our test chamber together, and we will go through a series of challenges where we're generating aerosols in the chamber. Some of the things we had to keep in mind for sampling on the, the space station are um, a little different uh, for what we would normally consider for sampling here on Earth. There is a growing interest in understanding um, air quality at the community level, at a neighborhood level, at the level of a school, and there aren't a lot of great sensor devices out there today that can do so in a broad way and a, a cost-effective way. I just returned from the World Health Organization first ever air pollution conference in Geneva and they're looking at a lot of uh, low cost or lower cost sensor solutions as, uh, you know, for the third world or for less affluent countries cost is a significant factor. Uh, but what they're struggling with is that there's a lot of low cost, low quality sensors. So trying to identify low cost but high quality sensors, which is really what we're looking to do. This challenge gives us the opportunity to have not just evolutionary aerosol technology, but revolutionary aerosol technology at our disposal at NASA. There's new things that we can't buy that are being developed in this challenge. Our end goal is really to advance technology for area monitoring and personal monitoring um, so that we can understand more about uh, people's exposures to aerosols and really make it possible to create a healthier environment for people on the space station and here on Earth. We designed a new aerosol technology that can basically measure both particle and aerosol mass, uh, size distributions, uh, but also it gives you kind of the optical properties of aerosols. Uh, this is incredibly important because what we can do is we could take this data and really get a really deep understanding of uh, ambient air quality. So with our device, uh, we built it in a way so that it can be scalable and deployed across uh, large networks. And then you can take this data and actually start understanding uh, the sources and composition of different types of aerosols. To me, what's really exciting is just the fundamental underlying challenge of air pollution. And I think that it's great that NASA and the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation have teamed up to help find solutions to solve that problem. My hope is that one or more of the finalists will be able to partner with NASA to do a technology demonstration on the International Space Station with their particle sensor. The other thing I hope is that there would be a smart city application of one of these finalists or more because there's all kinds of pollutants that we need to monitor to improve our awareness of our surroundings. The smart city application you can look online 
and find out how clean the air is and make your decisions based on that.